Hey guys, the kid guru here. Well, I have a video for you guys today. Something I've done in a while. It's like a tech review. Basically, I have a two. Actually, I have two products for you to re I'm going to review today. I've been using them for a while now. That's one, the iPod third gen. This is the Nano Video, the newest one, and the silver uh, second generation iPod Shuffle. So I'll be reviewing both of them today. And uh, right now, I am also. You know, if you need to catch me on, I'm streaming live at ustream.tv slash kidguru or ch slash channel slash kidgurus hyphen tech hyphen world hyphen. Just type in ustream.tv slash kidguru. It's easier. And you can just go to the showroom from there. And also, speaking of Apple products today, you know, you, how you get your music, everything from iTunes. I am now on iTunes. I have my podcast. Uh, just search Tech World in the podcast under technology. <coughs> it's uh, under Tech World. Uh, it's under technology podcast, uh, but you can just go to technology, go to podcast technology, search Kid Guru or even Tech World, and you can find me between the both. Uh, you'll see my little X symbol, but yeah, I'm on, on iTunes now, so I'll be uh, bringing weekly blog, weekly podcast, and even uh, maybe two 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 a week or even more, who knows? Anyways, with that, I'm gonna dive into the review first. I'm gonna start off with the iPod that I've had longer, and that is uh, the iPod Nano second generation shuffle. Now the thing is these have upgraded on uh, Apple.com. Let, let me see here. Let me double check. There, I'm pretty sure there are. Now there's a second gigabyte. They're coming up. They have the second, the two gigabyte version, not the second gigabyte, sorry. Now there's a $69 for the second, the two gigabyte version, one gigabyte, which is this model right here, be $49. And they come in various colors. I bought mine early when they came out. So uh, now this is now this would be, I got mine around 80 bucks, now they drop much lower, and they're cheaper, I mean, 50 bucks for an iPod, it's pretty cheap, and, you know, one gigabyte got me by, though, I usually, use, I usually only use this for running, stuff like that, sports, and when I'm, you know, when I'm really on, when I'm really on the go, so anyway, here you have, uh, your, you know, it's not a touch wheel, but it is a click wheel, it doesn't have touch, it doesn't have touch, but it has, uh, you use your play button in the middle, and you have your, Play and pause, your volume up, volume down on the top right there. You have your forward and back, or if you hold it forward and rewind. You have your audio jack on the top right there, for that's your headphones, your headphone jack. And then you have your little LED light on to see if it's running out of, uh, I believe that's pretty sure that's when you're, does that one even go off? This one's the one that indicates if you're, uh, charging or if it's on right here. I think this one's for if it's low on battery. And of course you have, it's a uh, clip right there and it's really really the outer shell is all aluminum so it's really hard tough material and uh, mine, mine has been scratched I keep it nice I don't have a casing for it but I used to have one but I don't have I'm gonna buy a new one here you have your shuffle your shuffle songs I believe it's alphabetical order you can or organize it shuffle mode and organize and then like I said the clip right there for you know you can put it on your shirt or you can put it on your waist it's really easy it's nice and convenient and uh, you know, like I said, it's cheap, and it only but it only holds one to two gigabytes, depending on where you get it. Uh, Apple.com has a new two gigabyte versions, really small, elegant, like all the other uh, uh, Apple products out there. So you know, right here, let me just go go full pan around it. Like I said, it's really really small. I, this is the first iPod I've had. I love it. You know, I never, this, uh, it doesn't have a screen, so, you know, if you're, this is more for if you're on the go, you just want a small, cheap iPod, if you, uh, you know, run track or whatever, I use this a lot for when I'm running, but if you're, you know, if you use a lot of, a lot of, you have a huge music library, stuff like that, this may not be the thing for you, it's only holding one gigabyte, but like I said, you get the two gigabyte versions for $69, it has your Apple logo on the back, iPod, it says iPod right there, but if you just want a simple, elegant iPod, this is still a great iPod to me, so I use it when I'm on the go and stuff like that. So I'm just going to put that down and move on to my new iPod. Now, this is the case I have for the new iPod. It has a screen protector and a gel out case. My dad got me this one. This is the iPod Nano 3rd Gen. It's still in nice, good shape. I love to keep my iPods in a, you know, looks like sh I like to keep them like how they got when they got out of the box. You see that it's still shiny in the back. Now, this one can come into a 4 gig or 8 gigabyte space, but this is the new Nano that plays video, and look, it's so shiny, you can see the Orbit AF camera right there. But anyway, you have, a, you have your touch wheel here, your click wheel, but this one is touch integrated, as you see there. 
it's touch integrated. So you can scroll up and down with this. You can you you have your main selector key right here. So you can go through there. You have your menu button at the top, forward and back on the left and right. You play and pause is on the bottom. So uh, compared to this one, it would be the play button is a uh, you know you're replacing the uh, volume up and volume down because you use the click wheel for that. Now this one has some cool stuff like if you want to turn it off, you just hold the play button. That goes there. Then you have your on the bottom you have your hold. And you want to hold it. Basically that'll just turn it into kind of like a sleep mode where you can't really touch the buttons or anything. You can't. It's locked, pretty much. And you have your charger port right here. Oh, and I forgot to tell you. The cool thing about the iPod Shuffle, the way you charge it is through the, uh, you charge this through the audio, your headphone jack. You just plug it into your docking station. The docking station I can't get out right now because it's the back of my desk. But the docking station just goes into your, uh, headphone jack and it works great. Like I said, if you know, if you're more for mobility, this would probably be your choice. But if you like video and music in a pretty, you know, not a huge library, but compact, still small, pretty portable, Oh yeah, third generation is still a good iPod. So, you, like I said, you can go... Now, this one has cover flow, screen, all those extra... You have music, videos, photos, podcasts, ex extras, uh, settings, shuffle songs, and now playing. You can also, like I said, you can put pictures, and now you can have video on this. Eight, four, you get in a 4 gigabyte or 8 gigabyte storage, and both of these iPods, I believe, come in... They come in red... Uh, this one comes in red, aqua, green, all those different type of colors. This one comes in black, though. This one doesn't come in black. If they release black for this one, that would be pretty cool. But this one, soon, uh, if you saw Circuit City messed up on one of their ads, and they showed an, a purple one, but Apple hasn't re released it yet, if they're, whether or not they're going to be releasing a purple one, but that's something to look forward to. Like I said, it's really slim, so it's actually comparing it to the Shuffle, about that size. Then again, the Shuffle has a clip-on, so... You see it's really, really, really slim. You have your screen right there. You have your, um, pretty much it's locked on the all on the other sides. The only port you would have here is your charger port, and that's via USB. And you have your audio jack right there, and your hold button right there. So everything's pretty much, they integrated it to the bottom. But, great iPod. Uh, you know, uh, I don't even need that much memory. I haven't had anything bigger than a 4 gig. But, um, uh, so... Like I said, you have a lot of features in this iPod. It has built-in speaker, if you can hear it there. But it doesn't play music that way. If you do want uh, one, like, I, you know, the iPhone has a built-in uh, speaker. I use this for sometimes when I'm with friends or whatever and they want to listen. This is an iLogic, basically. Let me just show you here. You plug it in through the headphone jack, just like this, and it has a stand right there. You turn it on, and I have a podcast playing right there. Greg is here in our studios to talk more. So you see there, you just you can get one of these if you need it. Works for the shuffle too. So let me just show you that. Shuffle looks a little bit cool because you know the shuffle is smaller than the actual speaker itself. So let me just flip it on. So you know if you want to use that as a speaker, you can buy one of these. This is the i Logic. Now battery life for both of these. Now this one is long battery life. I've gotten, you know, eight, nine hours out of it. On, I've, I've left it on for about two hours, still runs great. And, you know, if I charge it for like 20 minutes, I can use it for like an hour. So fast charging, great battery life. And all around this product is, you know, it's really durable. I've, I've, uh, I have actually two of these. I've had two shuffles and uh, they've actually gone through a lot of, you know, hits and they got scratched up, but it still works in the end. I think it was just the uh, headphones that got messed up. But, you know, those you can always buy a new pair, like I have a new pair right here. This one is also durable. I'm looking to get a flip down case, the one you can hang on by a belt. So these are dur this is a durable iPod as well. You see there in the back of it. It says 4 gig, you have your Apple logo. Of course you get the Apple stickers with these. And this is the extra case. Oh, it just dropped right there. If you want protection, your case for the iPod. Now I have a rubber one that also has a protector for the screen. It has a place for the click wheel and then your charger port and stuff like that at the bottom. It's translucent, so you may not be able to see right there. You can see that at the bottom. There's an opening. So, if you're, if you know, you love your music, you're on the go, and you want something portable that can play videos and music, uh, this would be your best bet. I like, well, you know, if you're, you need a 
they go to music storage. There's always the iPod Classic, stuff like that. But these would be the, my two recommendations for the iPod on the go. iPod, not I'm not talking about the Zune or anything, but you know the iPods on the go. Second generation, second generation shuffle, one or two gig, or you can get the second generation, third generation iPod Nano, four or eight gig. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the re review. Hope you stop by uh, and subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching.